the latest news straight out of Music City. Welcome to Heartbeats. We got a chance to talk to Colin Ray about his new album, celebrating 25 years as a country music star. Tell us about your new album, Colin Ray, 25 years, 25 hits. Well, I just recently passed my 25 year mark in the business since my first hit record came out. And, and I know a lot of artists have done this, but I kind of felt like it would be a good time to um, to celebrate that. You know, it's a, it's a silver anniversary. You got to celebrate it in some way. And I thought re-recording all of the hit songs again, for that everything we ever did, because it just so happened I had 25 hits, you know, so I thought that was a good a good way to 25 years, 25 hits. And so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I think the, the, the challenge of it was recutting them, because again, it's not the original it's not the original versions of it. We recut everything, and it took a, it took a while to get all that done because that's a lot of music. And we added three bonus tracks as well, so it's 28 songs on the CD, and that's like almost three albums worth of music, you know. And it was tough because you know we I wanted to I wanted to cut them in the same keys that we did back in the day. I've always sang things very high up the register, and and so um, you know, thankfully I can still sing like that. Um, but I, re I wanted to 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 only take little liberties with them, not make them easier, but just make them better. And, and I think we did that. But if, if, again, after so many years of, of doing it, it's like you, you better do them better at this point. And so I think as, as the years went by, I became a better singer, a smarter singer, uh, learning how to phrase better, learning how to emote better. Um, so it was a chore. I, I, my goal was to make the album, these tracks, way better than the originals. And I think we did. How did you choose which songs to celebrate your silver anniversary? This was easy because we said we're cutting them all. We're cutting everything. I mean, there, even one of the songs uh, is a song called What If Jesus Comes Back Like That, which was never officially released as a single, but it, came, it became a, an underground hit uh, thanks to my old buddy Blair Garner at After Midnight. He, he loved the song so much. And at the time we had out a song that Sony was pushing up the chart called Not That Different, and it wound up going to number one. Um, but during that same time, he thought, well, I like this song better, so I'm Blair Garner and I got my own show and I'm gonna play what I want. And that song, he just kept forcing it and next thing you know, it showed up on the chart and it started climbing. So I had two songs on the chart at the same time, which in the 90s, as it is now, you don't, radio won't do that. And I had two songs going up the chart and the record label was freaking out because they're like, they're just gonna kill your other record, it's gonna kill your other record. So they both wound up becoming hits and not that different, still went to number one. So it, it didn't lose anything. Uh, but I included that one on there too because to the to the folks that was a hit and and I get as many requests for that as I would say probably you know 90% of the hits that went to the top five. So again, I just I picked it. I said we're going to cut everything, anything that ever got played a bunch at radio. We're we're, we're redoing it. Where can we find out more about your new album? Uh, ColinRay.com is you know the information spot for all things Colin Ray. You know. Um, the music is going to be available on, on the, the usual outlets that sell music, you know, Spotify, iTunes, etc. But this is a really exciting time for me because we have this album to talk about and I feel like it's the, it's the opening page of, of uh, the, the, you know, the last big chapter in my career, hopefully. Thanks, Colin. That's it for this installment of Heartbeats. Stay tuned to Heartland for more of the hottest news in country music.